Hey everyone, Val here. And it's the start of a new work week. And as you can see, it's raining out. Everything's wet. Alright. Let me see what I can get done today. We picked up a baby back rib yesterday when we were out and about and um, Steve rubbed it with um, applewood rub and it's been sitting in the refrigerator overnight and I'm going to stick it in the oven today so to cook while we are at work. So I've got the oven on slow cook low. We have a slow cook feature on the oven so I'm going to put it in the oven on slow cook and just cook it all day. I'll show it to you when I get home. I'll let you know what it looks like and what we're having for dinner. So we'll catch you all after work. Hi Steve. Hi lady who doesn't know me. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, making some macaroni and cheese and pork and beans to go with our, our baby back ribs. Which I've been slow cooking all day. Alright. Are they ready, you think? I don't know. I didn't look at them. We'll check them in a few minutes. You can check them. I will check them in a few minutes. Alrighty, let's check the pork. They're resting in its juices all day. Get a little fork. I'm probably going to be able to find what I'm looking for, but well, look how tender it is. It just comes apart. Juicy and tender. Mm. Tastes good to me. Get a little barbecue sauce throw on there. We're good to go. Alrighty. Macaroni's done. Beans are done. Get ready and do some dinner. It's good. Alright. So we bought three gingerbread bread houses. We're going to do gingerbread house making with the grandchildren tomorrow night. So um, we're going to put the gingerbread houses together tonight so it's just easier for them to decorate tomorrow. We always seem to have a problem with the houses falling apart if they haven't set. Um, so to avoid frustration, tomorrow night we're going to pre-build the houses so all they have to do is decorate tomorrow night. So. I've covered the pans with aluminum foil so that they're nice and clean. And we're each going to take a house and start building. Step one. Step one. Open the box. Step two. Pull the contents out of the box. Don't break the gingerbread. Step three. Eat all the good stuff so you don't have to put it on the house. Yeah, save all the goodies in the pan. Oh, it smells good. For best results, knead and massage the icing for one to two minutes, bringing icing to room temperature and making it more adhesive. Well, this has been at room temperature. It hasn't been outside, so it probably should be pretty fine. Oh, no, mine feels cold. Does it? Sides and two roofs. Oh, the roofs have little snowflakes on them. 
And then I'm going to get a little baggie to put the little gingerbread men in so that they can do those tomorrow. I will say when it comes to gingerbread house making, Steve wins. I am not very good at it at all. So Steve's finishing up the last of the gingerbread houses for us. His looks a whole lot better than mine does. This is mine. It's all lopsided and stuff, but I ain't touching it because it's got to stay together. Yeah. This is Steve's and his is all neat. All right, that's fine. We got the other ones. And this is the other one that Steve's finishing. So we're going to let him sit here and get hard for the night. And then we'll have the grandkids decorate them tomorrow night. And we'll take video of that for you. So thanks, Steve, for doing an awesome job putting the house together. And uh, thanks for watching. Y'all remember to subscribe and like and comment below. And tell me if you're doing some gingerbread houses this year or you're doing anything fun with uh, cookie making. And I will see you real soon. Thanks.